Like Silphied said, I ran with a core called Arngarm. Led it, actually. Just a medium-sized outfit. Nothing too grand. We took decent-sized jobs, did them well, and pulled in solid business. That was life for us. Sure, we might have gotten a little too fired up when we were facing down dangerous enemies, but it wasn't all rough going. Whenever we had a bunch of new folks join up, we'd take one easy job after another. I thought that was just gonna be another one of those laid-back missions. Back when Osborne got his seat as the Chancellor, the noble faction hired us to give him a little scare. That was all. He was a commoner who came up through the military, chosen by the Emperor. Guess they just wanted to show him who was boss. But he saw right through their plan. Can't really call what happened a fight. It's more like a massacre. They didn't even give us a chance to surrender. Just gunned us all down in cold blood. Young boys who've just been with us for a couple weeks. Women. Everyone. I was all that was left. Surrounded on every side by my comrades' bodies. I was the only one to come crawling back out of that hell. I wandered a while. Didn't know what to do with myself. Eventually, I ended up finding my way to the Imperial Liberation Front. No high ideals here. I just wanted to kill him. To gut that son of a bitch, avenge my friends, and tear apart everything he spent his life trying so hard to build. So that's what happened to Arngarm. It's a sad story for sure. Look, I can sympathize with what you went through. But that doesn't mean the Chancellor was wrong in doing what he did. Yeah, it sounds kind of heartless to say, but... I'll say it. Terrors need to be handled with an iron fist. Their fate should discourage others from following their lead. <laughs> you ain't strained for mercy, are you? Can't deny what you're saying. The same about who's right and wrong. Maybe it never was. That bastard loves to fuel the flames of progress. One way or another, We've all been burned. What's left for sad sacks like us? I'll tell you what. We'll fan our own flames. Make them so big and so wild, they'll burn up even blood and iron. Now then, you came all this way. Might as well show me what you got. Just remember, you're the ones who keep jumping into the fire. Don't blame me when all that's left are ashes. Here he comes. Everyone, brace yourselves. We're counting on you, Angelica. Sure thing. Let's do this. Oh, it's you. You finished talking with C? His name's Crow, not C. And he's never going to be anything else for me. <laughs> oh, I know his real name. To us, he's always gonna be C. That's our leader. He might be young, but each and every one of us look up to him and respect him. Anyway, take a seat. You got a whole lot of questions, I bet. Does you asking that mean you're willing to answer them? <laughs> Depends on the questions. Just out of curiosity, how many members does the Imperial Liberation Front have left? I know the explosion back in the mine was staged, obviously. Sure was. Anyway, uh, ten, give or take? We lost most of our members as soon as the war started kicking into gear. Oh. Is that because the group's primary objective had been fulfilled? Basically, yeah. We all came from different backgrounds, but the one thing we had in common was that we hated that bastard's guts. So after he'd kicked it, most of the guys didn't really have any reason for sticking around. Can't say I blame him for calling it quits. Crow said that seeing this war through to its end was the last part of his game. Are the members who haven't left sticking around for similar reasons? <laughs> Interesting question. Can't speak for the others, but me, 
I don't really care how this war goes. I mean, I'm a former Jaeger who can hold his own in a fight. I've always lived for war. And teaching those dumbasses in the provincial armies how to pilot soldats is a job worth doing, even if it's a pain. If we disband, I'll find myself something else to do. I see. I can't defend the assassination of the Chancellor or what you did near Trista. But I'd be happy if you chose to disband at least. <laughs> You're a funny kid. Being oddly nice to us after all the shit we caused, don't you think? The cycle of hatred's gone on for long enough. Crimes you've committed will never vanish, but no one wants this war to go on longer than it has to. It's not as though you guys want war, do you? <laughs> That's enough of the niceties. If you've got time to worry about us, use it to worry about yourself. Whether you choose to side with the Alliance or go against them, you've got a tough road ahead, whether you like it or not. Make sure to think long and hard before you decide. And if we end up as enemies again, show me what you got. On the battlefield, I mean. Excuse me. <laughs> Think I might have been too harsh on the kid. Still... Probably perfect for the job. Sorry, but this ain't over just yet. What? Another new model? It's gigantic! Hey there, your lordship. I came to spoil your reunion. What is the meaning of this? I told you not to interfere! And besides, the battle has already been! Maybe so. But with the crimson wings in the sky, I ain't gonna just sit back and do nothing. I've got a job to do. And me and this here Goliath are gonna do it! How dare you harm Lady Angelica! Move away from his lordship at once! Such impertinent behavior will not be- Shut it! I ain't got time for weak things. Unless you wanna end up dead, stay the hell away from me! Power is incredible. But there's no way a soul dot that massive moving like that's gonna hold out for long. Come on now! You don't think you can sit back and watch from up there now that me and Goliath are out, do ya? Get down here! It's our turn! Rain Schwarzer! Uh, it's him, isn't it? Yep, that's Vulcan. Wasn't he one of Crow's friends from the Imperial Liberation Front? I guess he wants a revenge match after losing to us in the mine. What are you going to do, Lean? Velimar's ready to go at any time. So if you're set on fighting... I am. And he's right. I can't just sit back and watch. It's time we finally settled the score with him. He's an exceptionally dangerous foe, to say nothing of the soldat he's piloting. Good luck. Thanks. There you go. It's the Ash Combat. <laughs> Here comes the star of the show. Kick some ass, Reed! Let's do this, Valimar! Together, we can disable that thing! 
Chance for interruptions. This is perfect. So let's go! Bring Schwarzer! I did it. He won! He really won! An impressive achievement, considering how stacked the odds were against him. Oh, yeah! That's our ring! <laughs> I knew someone who was in the same class as C would put up a good fight. Sure, I might have lost this fight too, but I couldn't have wished for my flame to burn brighter one last time before it went out for good. What just happened? I knew it! Watch out, Reed! Don't get too close! Supporting a frame that huge was putting a massive strain on that thing's orbital engine. It could blow any minute now! And the blast will probably take the whole soul dot with it. What? Vulcan! Get out of there quickly! If you don't hurry, you're gonna die! Sorry, but this is just how I wanted it to be. I did what I set out to do. I can't say I don't have regrets, but I'm satisfied at least. Are you an idiot? If you go and die, it all amounts to nothing! I died a long time ago. I've been dead since the day that bastard had the others in Arngarm slaughtered. At least now, I can finally be reunited with them, and gee... <gasps> anyway, try and give Scarlet and Crow the end to all of this that they want too. Can you do that for me? See ya. Did this really what V wanted? How did this happen? Mm. 